Cats? Seriously? Yes. Cats are big online. You'll get millions of views. You want to take one of the most significant events in the history of the Jewish people, the first Zionist Congress, the event that led to the founding of a home for the Jewish people in their own land after 2,000 years of exile, which gave the world Herzl, and include cats in it? Do you want a viral hit or don't you? You're right. There's no one that's going to find this interesting. We need something current. What do you think about this? It's August 29, 1897, and I'm coming to you live from the first Zionist Congress here at the Basel Casino. Dr. Olipe is currently delivering his speech, the convention's opening speech. Beside me is my good friend, Max. Say hi, Mr. Nardo. Hi. Great. This isn't going anywhere. It doesn't have any rhythm. Yeah, you're right. You want rhythm? I've got it. This is so 2013. I thought this is 2017. I thought it was best to include the client in on the conversation. Hey, Teddy. How are you? It's Mr. Herzl to you. Anna, please show him the options we provided for him. Of course, sir. I'm going to spill this bucket of icy water in order to raise awareness of the first Zionist Congress. The people can help itself, only itself. Sir, I'm pretty sure the ice bucket challenge doesn't work that way. It's no good. Pneumonia is still lethal where we come from. I have a dream. I have my people. <clears throat> I'm my land. I think it's good enough. What do you think, Mr. Herzl? I think we scared him. I think he's in complete shock. Relax. Mm -hmm. It's no big deal. So the stream crashed and the picture froze. Don't forget, there wasn't proper broadband connection in the 19th century. <sighs> I think we need to go with an entirely different approach. Now, two weeks before the launch of the campaign. What did you have in mind? Yes, what do you have in mind? Okay, so, it's true. I guess I'm the face of this whole gigantic effort. But I'm only a small part of 2,000 years of the Jewish people's yearning to return to its home. This isn't just my own dream. It's my ancestors and my offsprings and my offsprings, offspring dream as well. As I walk through today, I'm proud that my vision, the entire Jewish people vision, has built a country of dreamers. Dreamers who also make their dreams come true. How was it? <laughs>